Hi everyone, this is Jan, and this video is about our quest. Well, actually, my quest. My grandfather died when my father was eight years old. So he really didn't know a whole lot about him, but he loved him. After my father's death, when I was going through boxes, I found pictures of my grandfather. And I knew some information, not a lot, but I knew some. And my quest was to go out to Camp Furlong, which is now Pancho Villa State Park in New Mexico, and see if I could find some additional information. My grandfather was number 15 of 16 children. And he joined the military at a young age because, you know, farming wasn't going to pay him when he had so many other brothers. So that's what he did. He joined the military. And he was in the 7th Cavalry. Yeah, the 7th Cavalry, you know, Custer's Cavalry. And when I was a young girl and my father was telling me these stories, I said, well, that's all gone. If, if everything's gone there, he couldn't have been in the 7th Cavalry. And my father said, yes, they are. They just make a new Cavalry. And you know, they bury the old and move on with the new. I'd always heard he was in 7th Cavalry chasing Pancho Villa around in Mexico. I found out that actually was true. The pictures that I am showing are over 100 years and they are a few pictures. Well, one picture of him as a child one picture of him, I'm assuming, when he enlisted. And uh, the rest of them are pictures when he, they were out chasing Pancho Villa. This is the story that I'm going to piece together for you and show you the pictures of his life. This picture is of my grandfather and I'm guessing he's somewhere around two to three years old. It's a cute little thing. This picture is of my grandfather when he finished basic training. And my grandmother was right. He was a good looking guy. This is pictures of him and some of his friends and I have no idea who they are. Just that the center one is my grandfather. Pancho Villa came over to Columbus, New Mexico and killed a lot of people. Stole horses, ammunition, guns, anything they could take with him he was at Camp Furlong and these are the pictures that we took this year of the area and it is now called Pancha Villa State Park and it's in New Mexico now this is the part I found out that I didn't know was my grandfather was stationed at Fort Bliss in Texas. And after the raid by Pancho Villa, the 7th Cavalry was called up to go on a mission. And it was the first time they used cavalry on horses and also vehicles and airplanes for this punitive expedition. Now this is in 
the area of Pancho Villa State Park or Columbus, New Mexico. I have pointed out who I think in these pictures is my grandfather. And this next set of pictures are some of my grandfather and I guess his good friends. Why I can't tell you about these pictures is my grandmother bought a photo book and then now well, she decided to just glue the picture in. So therefore any writing that was on the back I was unable to get the black paper off the picture without destroying the picture. This set is my grandfather on his horse and a few other men on their horses. Seems kind of funny to see horses being used for war at this time. This is the expedition punitive expedition to punish Pancho Villa. They spent about a year running around the West in Mexico trying to catch him and they never did. Now what happened with my grandfather was he got well, I'm going to say sick, but actually his heart started acting up. My grandfather was discharged from the military and received a pension. And this last picture is a picture of my grandfather as older, but I can't tell you when it was taken. So this is the story of a little bit that I was able to find out. You know, every little bit helps when you don't know anything.